So today we're going to make rotating in the backswing and the downswing feel easier and simpler than it's ever felt before. We're going to take something like this, it doesn't have to be this, some rope, some string, anything really would do, and I'm going to hook it around an alignment stick that's in the ground. You have to get a little creative. Now as I take an address, I'm obviously holding each of these. Now the idea is, I call this the lawnmower drill, so if ever you've had one of those old petrol diesel lawnmowers you have to kind of pull start it, it's a very similar exercise to that. So the idea is I'm going to try and pull one of these, the trail side, towards me and the other side is going to go away from me. And if I do that, watch what happens to my body rotation. Let's just let it get to the bottom. Watch what happens to my body. Okay, so I pulled one away, I moved one towards it. And what does the body do? Well, it actually looks like a perfect backswing rotation. Notice how my legs have rotated, my knees have changed flex, my shoulders have turned, and they're on an angle. Notice how from that face on, the cable here doesn't move forward or back of the alignment stick. Let's do that again. There is a rotation. Now, that is a rotation, but at no point in that movement did I think about rotating. And very often thinking about rotating is where the issue comes in, because if I was to set up here and think about rotating, that's when we often get these movements. Very common to see a golfer start the swing like this, where there's a lateral shift and the lead shoulder goes too high. Well, have a look at those two hands, they don't move. I'm not actually putting any movements in this cable, but this is such a common movement. Or sometimes we see golfers making this movement. And again, you can see how that moves the cable in a very, very different way. So this really changes how you think about rotation. Very simply, your backswing should be your lead side moving towards the golf ball and your trail side moving away from the golf ball. As simple as that. So lead side towards, trail side away, pull the lawnmower, there is your perfect rotation. Now this drill is not gonna change your golf swing. What it will do is possibly for the first time help you better understand what you should be doing and that's massively key. So the lawnmower drill is how we're gonna start. What we then do, if I can get that stick out the ground, is we start to take that through to a sort of movement without that little exercise. So this time I'm going to place a golf club on the ground, I'm going to place this stick across my shoulders and I'm going to place the grip just on the inside of my heel, club goes, or the lamp stick goes across my shoulders. What I'm now looking to do is say can I make that same movement without the hands and arms and the idea being that I'm looking for a couple of things. Number one, I want to create a really nice angle through this alignment stick and you can see that there. The angle that I create dictates whether my head will stay level. Watch what happens when I don't create enough angle. Head's gone higher. What happens when I create too much angle? Head's gone lower. So making sure we create this really nice angle is how I keep my head really level in that backswing. And the other thing I'm trying to do is effectively get this end of the alignment stick on top of the one that's on the inside of my heel, so that movement there. And when I say on top of, I'm looking at it from my viewpoint. Now, the most common rotational faults are ones where we see things like this. So very level. This now doesn't look as if it's over the one on the ground and I feel the weight's gone to the outside of my foot. It's not gonna work. What about the slide? Really common as well. Well, often it's hard to get this turned behind and on top of the one that's on the ground. So this is our little phase two, good angle through the alignment stick over the top of there. If you do that after that first little exercise, you're gonna to start to move your body in a pretty efficient way without really having to think too much about it. And that's kind of the holy grail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it a couple of shots. Ball on a tee peg, mid iron in hand, half swings. And this is now how we start to take it to a golf swing. We have to simplify it because we can't have too many thoughts. So I want you to think about your chest, okay? When I set up my chest, if I had an arrow coming out of it, would point directly out towards that camera. But we don't set up here, we set up tilted over. So my chest starts to point a little bit more down towards the ground. Now, if I used a T, this will hopefully help us see and feel this. That T is pointing down at the ground. Watch what happens when I make my perfect, let's get rid of the club. What happens when I per make my perfect rotation? Where does that T point? Well, it does not point down at the ground anymore. It points pretty much straight out towards that camera over there. What about if I go through into my follow through position? Well, suddenly the T points more 
up towards the sky. Those struggling with rotation, T down. Very often they have the T down. Very often they have the T down, not the same sort of movements. What we're really starting to understand here is when we're thinking of rotation, it's not just simply turning the shoulders. It'd be great if it was, but it's about how we change our tilts, our angles, our extension. There's so much going on. And if you really dive deep into the data, it's quite complicated, but we're trying to make it simple in this video. So the idea on this next phase will be put a ball in the tee and we literally take our tee that's on our chest and we move that tee horizontally away from us. So it points out towards that camera and then up towards the sky. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a perfect rotation, really simply, because you've gone through the right steps. You've understood it, you've felt it, and then you're implementing it into your goal swing. So on this little shot with that ball on the tee, I'm simply going to go chest down, chest up, chest up. There's my goal swing. There was my perfect rotation. And a perfect rotation helps me strike the ball better. That's how you do it.